Thank you for invitation. Uh, the first question, I, want, I don't want to spend and lose your time and the time for everybody. So my problem is uh, how to say something who is very concrete for you. Because as you know, everybody now speak about startup, how you can get money, how you can transform you in entrepreneurs, and so on and so on. The question I think is could be a little different because we have to understand, especially for you, the, we are in a transition period. We are coming, most of you coming for a uh, public funding uh, situation. That mean uh, you don't have to think about how to raise money. Now the situation, as you know, is, is changing and you have to know something different is how we we don't have to transform yourself in entrepreneurs if you don't want to be. What do you have to know to use a different way to reach money? Somebody of you probably want to become entrepreneurs. I don't know if you, I don't know if you have time. I don't know if you have the skill to become entrepreneurs. If, if you want to grow all the, uh, the skill about it. The box is, uh, public, uh, uh, private funding. Private funding is a competitive system. That means you have to compete not just each other in terms of research, because it's a vertical competition, but you have to compete with different markets, because the investor is looking for a market with the best and better return with less uh, use of money. Okay? So the competition for you is not just vertical, through center to center, but also to different markets. So you have to keep attention for all the investors. This is a very important thing. The same market is uh, I, uh, looking for you is research, uh, uh, high technology, something like this. If you look now, anybody speak, especially in Italy, about startup, and you probably you have read on the newspaper a lot of our minister are talking about a digital agency. And they are looking, more, most of that is looking for internet. Why? Because the market is looking for internet investment or technology investment. That's, uh, this is the market. If you want to become an interpreter, you have to know something different to become about business, about uh, uh, startup culture, and how you can manage a company. I don't know how, how about you want to do that, how to want to spend your time and your money about that. But this is what some investors are looking for you if you don't uh, check in for a partner who can help you for do this, <coughs> these things. Uh, we also, you have to also to understand how is the business negotiation and which is the uh, negotiation through component inside the, uh, the company. All these words, it means uh, you have to approach another kind of culture. Uh, this is not to transform you in an interpreter if you don't want, but you have to understand there is another skill that you must have for the future. The competition market that you have to approach now is looking for a kind of skill that can leverage the money that these people put inside of you. And this is typical of market or you are involved in. You do research in a very interesting market, but it's a very difficult market for investors to understand because the investor need knowledge they don't most of the day they don't have if you uh, if you're looking for investor typical investor uh, skills you have also an industrial skill that you can sell your search but as you know you must have uh, a lot of work to do up to the uh, uh, evaluation of research You can approach uh, 
the, research, the, the, the investor in a traditional way. That means one-to-one, -one and you have a long way to explain what the investor must know for contract the risk. The investor have a very strict approach with the risk because they use most of the time money, not all money. And they must be sure they can transform the money they put inside in a value. If you look to the uh, statistical word, if you talk about pri typical private equity, private, which is the difference through private equity and uh, venture capital. Private equity invests money in company. Company is something who produce a product, sell a product, could be a problem or not, but is value. Venture capital invests in startup. That's a probably value in the future. And you have also to grow a company. It is I, the high risk in venture capital is higher, and the expectant of the returns is very high for the investor. That's need if uh, you take like 100, the total investment of venture capital, in 80, 90% the venture capital loses the money, in 10% they go in pair, and the difference is they make money, enough to cover all the 100 investment. Too. That's is the, that mean there is height, height mortality of the investment. That's why the investor is very, uh, I can say, uh, take care about uh, the evaluation of the project. You can have the most value research that you have, but this research must become a product for them. This is different. Uh, the difference is an in, a, a investment in a company who has a product is valuable. It is, uh, you can see how is the impact in the market. Most of your research is something can be transformed in a product in the future. And the impact is only ideal impact. It's not really available. All of this is another kind of culture that you must take in consideration. And uh, I talked a lot with Mauro before. Uh, this is imp an important division because most of the people try to speak about startup and investment to transform people who make research or something like in interpreters. Uh, I don't think is the, the, the good way because most of, the, of you or most of us is not uh, as old a skill that you need for do a company. And this is a risk also for an investor too. How we can find a way to make money? First of all, you can find a partner. A technical party can support you. In other countries, especially Anglo-Saxon system or the United States system, the uh, investment is more structured. That means you can find people called business angels or seed angels or different kind that can help you to build up uh, step by step uh, your research and transform that in industrial product and then in a product. In Europe, many people talk about this, but the situation is in terms of uh, fiscal impact, build the company, and all, uh, all culture too, uh, we don't have, really don't have a lot of opportunity like this. Probably in the future, and many new instruments like uh, we can see later with startup could be a, a new way to find, uh, to simplify the content through researcher or startup and market to find a step by step solution to invest and to develop the research. The problem is culture. You need to have some more skills. Then you can decide what you can do, what you cannot do. And please, be interactive, because just, this is just a general picture. Now I want to uh, listen to you 
what do you think about the market? What, what do you want to do with the research? No, uh, just before telling you what this is and uh, uh, the reason why I'm here today, I, I just want to introduce myself briefly because I think that my experience is uh, in some way connected to what we were discussing before. Because I come from an academic experience, I, uh, I wear two hats. One is uh, USTAD, the other one is uh, uh, as a, a project manager in Altis, which is a postgraduate school of the Catholic University of Milan. And at Altis, uh, what we are focused on is uh, uh, training and research on uh, entrepreneurship and uh, uh, corporate social responsibility. And we do that especially in Italy and in some emerging countries in Africa, uh, in India, and in Latin America as well, Brazil and Peru, the most uh, important ones. And uh, in that context, my role has been in the last uh, three years or so uh, to manage projects to support entrepreneurs in those countries. Entrepreneurs coming from the most different backgrounds and with the most different kinds of projects. More technical ones, uh, agribusiness projects, uh, uh, some focused on research in some specific areas. And what I found and what we found and uh, what is also the, the engine behind uh, the, our decision to, to start with Ustart is that we uh, acknowledge a general lack of something in uh, emerging countries in Africa, uh, Asia, and Latin America, as well as in Europe, and especially here in Italy. Lack of culture from the proposers of new ideas, new concepts, the innovators and researchers who are the ones who want to start something new, a lack of networks and uh, connections to do the right steps, uh, which is crucial when we want to start something you're not uh, familiar with. Uh, you have an idea, you want to uh, take a step forward, but you need guidance and you need networks. You need to know uh, what you're doing and to have someone who's uh, supporting you in these new steps. And lack of funding which is uh, the, the, the most important burden in starting up something new. And what we have uh, tried to do is to uh, create something that bridges those gaps and facilitates the, the, uh, the, the, startup, the start of new, uh, new ventures promoted by people around the world. What we believe is that uh, given the right tools and the right, uh, the right uh, knowledge and skills, researchers and innovators worldwide can be the engines of innovations that can change the society and the economy. And uh, uh, we also think that there is capital available. It needs to be ch channeled in the right direction. What we were mentioning before is that uh, he, the situation was uh, like a, a, a rain of capital that people could benefit of uh, some years ago. Now it's not the same thing uh, uh, anymore. Now you have just a, a very little stream of capital that needs to be challenged, ch channeled in the right direction. And uh, these beliefs are, again, the engine that uh, lead us in, uh, uh, in creating new start. What is new start? Ustat is a platform which uh, most important goal is to facilitate innovators, researchers, people with ideas in finding the right partners. Partners meaning uh, partners that have capital, but what we were mentioning before is that if you want to start up something new, you don't need only capital, you need also uh, competencies and you need guidance, and you need networks, and you need uh, someone who's supporting you in creating what you have in mind. And uh, professional investors most, uh, most uh, usually have those kinds of, uh, of skills and competencies and networks and, uh, uh, and the capital, for sure, uh, because they are focused on specific sectors where they have all the uh, the pieces of the equation that can make a new venture succeed. And you start is something that is thought to match the two, 
the idea and the partner that can help you make the idea uh, develop in something concrete, in a, in a new uh, venture that can make your success and also uh, bring change into the society and the economy because ideas can become something that creates value and shared value for all the stakeholders involved. And uh, uh, this is uh, very briefly what we want to do. And we want to do that knowing that, as I mentioned before, there is a lack of culture. So uh, you're not supposed to become an entrepreneur and know all the things that uh, uh, business administration involves. You need to be guided in proposing to the right partners your idea in the right languages and uh, uh, with the right tools and with, uh, uh, with the lights that can, uh, can attract his attention because this is the, the game. You have to attract the attention of an investor that can support you in creating your, uh, in evolving from your research to something uh, that is at the next step. And what we created with you start is a tool to do that. And uh, uh, now uh, what I, and a step back. Uh, we have partnered with uh, IECGB because we think that there is a match uh, among what we do and what is the need of IECGB uh, today. Uh, we think that we can give a tool that facilitates uh, research centers in finding other ways of raising capital for their uh, research teams and for their research projects by tackling the right partners uh, worldwide. We are uh, an international platform, so uh, what we want to do is to bridge investing partners and researchers and innovators worldwide and creating those bridges uh, by helping them meet and, uh, and share and uh, uh, have a, a, a common language that is the basis of a, a, a partnership and, and the beginning of a step, of a, of a path together. So um, now I, I want to just briefly show what you start is in terms of a, uh, of, of a platform. What we created is something where you can propose your project in a very simple way uh, be guided by us in showing the investor what you are doing and why he should give you his own his money, his, uh, he should invest in you, and uh, convincing him that yours is the idea that he is looking for. Because as Francesco was mentioning before, this is a, a very competitive uh, environment. I mean, uh, both horizontally and vertically, you have to convince investors that yours in your field of research is the project that they want to invest into because it has also uh, the, the higher chances of creating value for him and for the people that put money into his fund because uh, Francesco explained how uh, venture capital firms work and they have to justify the money they invest. So they have to make sure that the money they put into a project are invested in a, in, a very, uh, in a very thoughtful way. So now, uh, here we have uh, partners, uh, again, uh, not just in Italy, but worldwide. And we are specifically focused on emerging countries and particularly in Africa today. And we are moving to uh, other emerging markets like uh, Eastern Europe and uh, uh, Brazil, Peru, and uh, um, the emerging countries of uh, Asia, and uh, specifically India. And uh, our partners are creating a network among themselves that, again, by sharing experiences and networks can facilitate the uh, entrepreneurs and uh, the, the proposers of new ideas in finding the right investor for the specific project that they are proposing. So. I wanted to do that later, but let me uh, sign up so that you can see how also the relationship between the investor and the entrepreneur works, which is the thing that is
So the platform is structured in a way uh, with which uh, proposers of innovations and, uh, uh, and ideas can profile their idea in a way that is readable from the investor again. And this is the, uh, the, the, the uh, personal page of clearly a fake the uh, entrepreneur. But just to understand how uh, it works also the construction of a relationship with the investor and the proposition of uh, a, a business, an investment proposal, which is uh, what you start is about. So uh, this is the, the dashboard uh, where you can identify uh, all the, uh, all the uh, operative things that you can do on the platform. And the platform is created to match entrepreneurs or proposers and investors. So here you can see what are the results of the matching. Uh, so uh, in what you are doing with investors in this part what are the messages that uh, you have received from investors and which investor have viewed your project in this part and who have requested you to uh, give uh, more details about your project because a very important part of the uh, concept of the platform is that the ownership of the project remains to the uh, proposer at any time. So there are steps of security that are created in order to uh, keep that ownership to the proposer of the idea. And you can decide to whom uh, to disclose uh, uh, more details and, uh, uh, and the parts of your project that will uh, convince the investor that yours is a, a valuable project. So here, uh, investors will have to ask for an authorization to see more details. And here you can control uh, who is the, uh, the investor that has asked for authorization and if you want to give authorization to him or not. And you can also see him in uh, uh, different steps of detail in order to understand who is the investor who is asking for an authorization to see your project details. Uh, you can see uh, who the investor is and uh, uh, you can uh, in that way decide uh, in a conscious way if you want to give him a chance to look uh, at your project. And if you do that, then you enter into a, a private uh, part of the website where only you and the investor that is uh, has entered in contact with you can access. So it's a private room, uh, like a data room, uh, where only the two of you can access and where you can exchange documents and communications that are the first step uh, that will allow you to uh, convince the investor that uh, your proposal is the one that he wants to invest in. And uh, uh, keeping all the, the, the story of the relationship uh, under control so that you know what he knows and you have a simple and, uh, uh, and easy to manage way to understand what were the steps of the relationship with the investor that led you to that point of the relationship. And clearly you can uh, look for investors that are uh, um, in, in specific uh, targets uh, that invest in specific sectors in specific countries in the, the stages of, in, of development of a business uh, that they are usually uh, used to invest in because investors also invest in specific stages of, uh, of maturity of, uh, of an enterprise or, or a project or an idea. And, uh, uh, you can uh, scout for them and uh, uh, you can propose your project to them. So if you find the, the right target, you can submit your project, which will be sent in a, in, in a summarized way to the investor in order to convince him to enter into a direct contact with you. And your project will be submitted in a, in a standardized way, which is the way investors want to see the first snapshot of a project. Because 
one other thing to be mentioned is that investors have a limited time to decide whether a project is interesting or not. And what you uh, show them at first instance has to convince them immediately. Otherwise, they just go to the next one because they receive many projects and they have to take decisions in a very short time. So the information that are gathered into the very brief uh, preview that is sent to the investor are the ones that investors want to receive. Again, this is a matching that is not only uh, business-like, it's also a cultural matching because things have to be shown in the way that the listener uh, wants to listen to them. So uh, this is a, a very crucial point. Uh, now, I, I want to show you just briefly how investors see and use the platform, because this is also something interesting uh, uh, to understand how it works and uh, um, what are the connections that can, uh, can take shape from, from there. So I'll just log in quickly. So this is how investors see uh, projects and how they scout for an investment opportunity. Uh, apart from uh, the dashboard, which is similar to what we saw before, and the data of the investor that clearly are his details uh, that he can uh, specify to uh, let entrepreneurs understand what uh, he invests in and what is the history of investment that he has behind. This is the way investor can search projects for. So uh, either by uh, putting the, the right uh, project title if they know one, but also by business sector, by the country, the stage of the industry, uh, the stage of the, uh, of the business that they usually invest in, the funding modes, because this is also another thing. Investors use usually uh, specific kinds of investment tools. Then the capital that the project is asking for, the entrepreneur or the, or the proposer is asking for to start up with his idea or, or business. And if it comes from a specific partner, so uh, if it comes from uh, the universities or uh, the, the research centers or entrepreneurial associations, that are partners of Ustart because also investors want to have references and uh, the more references they have, the more confident they are in uh, taking the steps uh, that consume time and resources uh, to evaluate businesses at the first stages of, of, their, uh, of the contact with a, a new investment opportunity. And this is the way investors see the first, uh, the first, uh, 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 details of, of a project. So just by the, 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 the main areas that the entrepreneurs have filled in. And also uh, the, the, the you start approved uh, stem, which is uh, we evaluate projects in terms of the completeness with which they are proposed because also investors want to read proposals that are the most complete in order not to waste time. And we assign uh, a stamp that identifies where proposals have at least a minimum uh, set of criteria that investors want to read uh, in order to understand whether an investment opportunity is interesting or not. And again, you see, uh, to see uh, the details of uh, a project, the investor has to ask authorization and then the entrepreneur can decide whether to uh, give the authorization or not. Uh, up to now, we have uh, 70 uh, projects and seven investors. Our goals are to reach, by the end of the year, the 1,000 projects, and we will leverage on, uh, on the partnerships. That, so uh, we are now uh, 
implementing strategies of promotion and uh, what they call uh, freemium strategies to attract a high volume of business proposals and ideas. And uh, when we have reached a critical mass, we do the same with investors. We are starting with investors that are close to us because we are in business networks and we know investors that are active uh, in the countries where we are operating. And we are creating the first uh, group of investors in that way. But when we have created the masses uh, with the strategies that we are implementing with enterprises and business proposals, then we do the same with the investor community. Investors are a lot, actually. They are very focused. They are uh, vertically uh, uh, specified, but they are many. Uh, we have databases of thousands of venture capital firms in Europe and similar numbers in the, U in the US is a, a, another planet, but in, uh, in Latin America, in Brazil, for example, now you have hundreds of venture capital firms. So uh, it is, again, a, a game of volumes, and we think we... We can play that game also through our networks and partnerships with the associations and, uh, and uh, uh, entrepreneurship centers with which we are partnering now. Thank you very much, Francesco Stefano, for, for being here. And uh, I hope that uh, this will be time that we remember in the future as having a well spent. So thank you very much. <laughs> thank you.